Today, we're going to be releasing the Adalo data preloader. Uh, and this little component will supercharge the speed of your app uh, when it comes to opening the app and navigating the app. So um, feel free to go over to github.com slash pragmaflow inc slash Adalo data preloader to check out the source code if you want. Otherwise, go to Adalo pragmaflow server slash install component, scroll down to the bottom to the data loader, and you can install the data loader in your app. Uh, now let's just see what this does and how this works. So we'll go to the PWA mode. I'm going to click on share here. So without this component, when I load the app, when I click on the encrypted chat that has a list, we'll see oh, list loading, list loading, and it took a while to load. And that's only with two records. I'm sure some of you guys have 100 records on the page, and it takes forever to load the page the first time. When I go the second time, it actually loads really quickly and nicely. So a common concept in uh, the developer world is, you know, load the data before you need the data. And that's what this component does. So now if we close this, all I have to do, if you've installed it correctly, you'll see a data pre or download data preloader. I drag and just drop this on my screen anywhere and only on the home page. You don't have to put this on any other page. Just drag and drop the component onto the home screen. There's nothing to configure. That's it. We're done. By doing this, when I open up my component or I open up my program now, uh, whether you launch the app from your phone or it's a PWA, when I click on encrypted chat, we see that it loads right away. No more of those circles. In case you missed that, let's actually go back. We'll delete the preloader. We'll share. So we're opening the app from scratch. I click on encrypt chat, we load, we load, we load, we load. There we go, the page is done. Close that, go back, put our data preloader back on, share the screen, click on encrypted chat, boom, no more loading. Everything's done for us. So that's it. Uh, if you guys want, you can use that. I'm going to continue and just explain a couple of the uh, nuances to this component. Uh, if you want to stick around, feel free. If you don't, uh, go install it, have fun, and uh, your users will, should be super happy that the app's going to ru uh, run a lot quicker now. So one of the limitations uh, that I put into the preloader, it's not that we can't do it. It's that there's just so many better ways to do it. Uh, if the Dallow people are listening right now, uh, just go to the action wrapper.tsx and prefetch the component anytime you see a button that has navigate. That will solve everyone's problem and make all their applications very quick. So what does this mean by the limitation? So encrypted chat just has a list. It doesn't depend on anything. So it loads really good or really well. However, if I go to a page that has details, this we see still loads. Because the page is dependent on the data from the page before it, we're not actually prefetching all the details page. So if you guys have a screen that has dependent data, so this is where um, the encrypted chat depends on which data is coming from the, the screen before it. We're not prefetching that. Again, it's not that we can't, it's just there's so many better ways to do it. And if Adalo just baked it into the action wrapper.tsx, uh, we wouldn't even have to worry about putting any of this in. Uh, so that's it. I just, uh, that's that one limitation is any of the details pages are gonna load again uh, with those loading screens the first time. However, any screen that doesn't depend on a screen before it will load instantly. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope it makes your apps quicker.